Yeah. So today we're experimenting with different kinds of ways of painting and making marks. I think that might be a bit wet watery. You might need to get the muddy, squidgy, squelchy bit. Anyway, we're going to see if the, this mud in here is going to paint a painting on this giant paint picture right on this bit of paper here. Do you want to do it, Tom? See if it works. It might not be muddy. No, it might not. And it's also Betty's got, um, we've picked up lots of bits of um, twigs and leaves to see if they'd be good paintbrushes. It's just making marks. So we can do whatever you like. You can um, get your like painty bit here, mix up some paint, and then use and then use um, what do you call them? Like your paintbrushes, so natural paintbrushes. This looks like rosemary, and then see what it looks like on there. What kind of marks you make? You can do this wherever old you are. You can do this whenever you like. You might want to get into using your hands. You can walk to them whenever you like. Okay, ready? There. Lovely. Just about making more for me doing myself. So maybe, um, should I paint your hand? There. We have to put it in there. We're painting now. Painting. You could paint it with mud. There, let's try that one. There. So enjoy yourself in the garden and make lovely painting or muddy, squelchy. This is what we used to do when I was little marks on your paper and um, and make marks out of different things that you could find twigs ask first before you use flowers and things because they might not they might not be a good thing to pick 